Okay, question number two. This is the what. What made you want to go vegan? Alright, so, uh, first thing my parents kind of got me into the um, no beef and no pork kind of movement, so to speak, about six years ago. Um, got me eating just chicken and uh, turkey and seafood. And then going on probably about three years ago, um, I kind of just made the decision through watching uh, Freely and Durian Rider and other YouTubers um, just talk about cycling mainly. So it was more from a health, health and performance uh, side is the main reason I went vegan and vegetarian. Um, but over time I started seeing more and more videos of like the cruelty in factories and stuff like that which is pretty disturbing even if you are a meat eater and you want to you know you know stick to your guns on meat eating meat or whatever it's pretty hard to watch uh, those kind of videos unless you're gonna work in a place like that so I think we're just really disconnected from where that kind of food comes from because all we do as people is just purchase it from a package uh, from the grocery aisle which has nothing to do with you know killing uh, a living being and gutting it and letting all the blood fly and just all that some stuff that nobody pays attention to because they're just looking at a little package that's been drained of all the blood. And that's what your dad did, right? Your dad worked in a meat factory? Yeah, my dad was a butcher for about 15 years, so he basically, he was drenched in blood eight hours a day plus for 15 years. Worked his ass off. Uh, never worked on the kill floor. He said he'd been in the kill floor before and he said those people are just warped in there. Like, those are the kind of people that rape and kill and murder people for sure um, so yeah there's some weird shit that goes on with that whole industry uh, that's not what we're going to get into right now but that's definitely part of it um, but that came on later like I said it was more for health and performance for cycling um, pushed me towards going high carb and just getting all that sugar and fruits and vegetables in and, and then I started reading about other things like anti uh, hair loss and uh, damage to your eyes so you can you know reverse wearing glasses or at least make your eyes stronger and better as time goes on because you're eating healthier um, all sorts of reasons I don't want to spend the last 20 30 years of my life in a hospital like a lot of people are being obese and full of cancer and uh, high whatever. blood pressure meds everything I don't want to have to pay for that I don't want you know tax dollars that could be fixing these horrible roads here um, to go towards my fat ass sitting in a hospital bed because I'm too lazy or, you know, like I said, I'd rather eat packaged food than something that's grown out of the earth, like fruits or vegetables. And that's probably it. Okay. What inspired you to transition into being a vegan? <laughs> so, I got in like Matt. A lot of it was for health reasons, but at the time when I first kind of thought about it, it was when I was practicing a lot of yoga, and yoga, um, being vegan, it helps a lot with your yoga practice, not just like your physical practice, but your mental and your spiritual. So I guess that kind of started to get me interested and perked into why is being vegan good, and could I even do that, because I've, I've I grew up like eating meat at least once a day all the time so it seemed very foreign to me but I never really cooked a lot and when I started to have to cook I didn't really like cooking and touching meat ever in my life so I just started looking at alternative types of eating and being vegan and vegetarian I never had to worry about touching meat or like produce that would go bad and I'm lactose intolerant so I can't really eat ice cream and all that cream and milk anyway so I've already looked at other options for dairy so going vegan was pretty easy because I already don't eat half that stuff and I don't like touching meat or really eating it so it was easy that way and then as a cyclist I did a lot more research into being vegan and major inspiration was the China study the book about um, a plant-based diet and why it's good for you and all the research that's gone into that book and watching like Forks Over Knives and all those documentaries on Netflix has definitely inspired me for sure. But it wasn't until I started really looking at riding 
and endurance sports like running and riding. And I saw Brennan, the guy who started Vega, and I read all of his books and recipe books, and he seems to perform really well as an athlete. So I thought, well, if I'm vegan and I'm perf I'm doing like my regular training and my performance will increase and I'll have more energy and I'll be able to eat whatever I want and not worry about it. So I tried it out and I liked the way of cooking because a lot of it could be raw if you want to. And being the type of person I am, I'm very busy, so I just like to always be doing something, so not spending too much time in the kitchen. So I like the lifestyle, I like the energy, the detox benefits, and then I kind of went off of it for a bit because I kind of crashed on my own and I was living far away from my family, so I wasn't quite doing it right, I guess. I wasn't eating enough calories that I needed since I was biking like 50 kilometers a day to get to and from work over hills and... I was eating constantly, but I was eating more high fat, um, or I guess it was more like a 30-30 kind of diet, like fat, carbs, and protein, because Brennan focuses a lot on like nuts and seeds, getting your protein in, and I think that weighed me down and slowed me down. I wasn't getting the carbs that I needed, or I just wasn't eating enough calories, I think, because my evening meals were usually pretty small, because I'd be like on the run to go teach yoga or I see my acro yoga partners so I was always moving and so I kind of went off of it for a bit started introducing a bit of meat in just maybe like once a week and it did help me for a little bit but I think it was just the carbs and the calories I wasn't getting enough so then it wasn't until I met Matt Klein again that I met another vegan and again it inspired me to just do it and try it and I watched Durian Rider and Freely and saw that I clearly wasn't getting enough calories in my diet and that's why I crashed being vegan so I decided to go on my high carb diet with low fat and I've noticed a huge difference like my energy increased so much more and I was just happier and I don't feel like I crash as much now like I feel like my energy is a lot more consistent and just everything in general with the diet works a lot more but Matt also has taught me to eat a lot in the evenings so that has helped <laughs> carve me up because normally I would just like eat a little bit and go and do something so that's helped and I love it I love that it's a very healthy lifestyle I love that I don't have to eat animals and pay to eat animals that are so cute and it's just a great way to live so also the big thing for me is why i also ride a bike and i'm vegan is for the environmental benefits because how much water and transport goes into producing beef and how it's just so wasteful and toxic to our world so